Hello everyone! I'm sorry I've been very MIA, but it's because I've been very busy. I just came back from an outreach today. So I wanted to introduce you to the next part of the program. Um, it's not just uh, doing traditional African dances, it's also doing um, dance dramas. So one of the dance dramas that I have participated in, um, there are two sex workers and two men. Um, both the men want to sleep with the sex workers, so one of them approaches one of the sex workers and they ask the sex worker if he can have sex. And she says yes, but only if he agrees to use a condom. And so, so the man takes the condom and he looks at it, but he decides that he does not want to have sex with her because of her agreement. So he goes to the next sex worker and he asks if she can have sex with him. And she says yes, but she also wants to use a condom. So he says that he will not do that, and because she needs the money, she eventually ends up throwing away the condom and they have sex. Now what happens to the couple that has sex without the condom is that they get very sick and end up getting HIV. So. What happens after that is the other man approaches the sex worker that said no in the first place and he asks her to have sex with him. So she presents the condom again and he says no. And after some debating, he comes back, has sex with her with the condom and they find themselves to be much stronger after having sex. So they tell the other couple that is currently sick that next time they should use a condom because if they use a condom they would have prevented themselves from getting HIV.
a little awkward at first because I wasn't used to having, you know, another guy dancing so close to me. But after a while, you kind of get used to it. The drummers even have more fun once they get closer to you and you get to play around a lot, do a lot of different things. You get a lot of good reactions from the villages, a lot of good reactions from the schools because it's not just dancing to have fun, it's also dancing to learn something. Um, and a lot of the dance dramas focus around sex because what we try to tell students and even people in the villages that we do outreach is that sex is one of the main ways of contracting HIV. So we have three ways that we suggest to people in the villages and in the schools of how to pre prevent yourself from getting HIV. So they're ABC, so the first one is abstinence. And we tell students mainly, you know, um, it's good to abstain from sex for them, mainly because they are still in school, you know, they still need to concentrate on their studies. Um, so abstaining from sex is the best solution for them because it'll prevent them from, you know, making the wrong decision in case they get pregnant or, you know, get HIV. It could cause a lot of problems for them and they won't be able to continue their education. Um, so that was A. So B is be faithful to one partner. And to, what that means, obviously, is to be able to stay with one person, have sex with one person, and not um, go around having sex with multiple partners. However, if you can't do A and you can't do B, there is still C, which is condom use. Um, so we try really hard to cater to everybody's needs because everybody's situation is different. Some people can abstain, some people um, are able to be faithful to one partner, some people can't do both. So condom use is another suggestion so that you're protecting the other people around you that you're sleeping with. And that way, you know, you can protect yourself too. You can also protect yourself from getting HIV by using a condom. So we feel that it is very important to stress all different types of people as opposed to just focusing on one key component of how to prevent HIV.